So this video is dealing with the theoretical aspects of perfect competition. There'll be a separate video talking about how to construct the diagram on a systematic basis, which you should definitely check out. But what I want to go through initially is what it actually is. Now, every single market structure that you do, from perfect competition all the way through to a monopoly, will always have five key characteristics. And you need to know these like the back of your hand. Number one. The first characteristic is that there are many small firms. There are loads and loads of people selling this particular good. Number two, the goods sold are homogenous. It's a fancy word. Homogenous simply means identical. It means that they look the same, they taste the same, they're the same size. Everything about them is the same. Number three, there are no barriers to entry or exit. Anyone can get into this market. Anyone can leave the market. Number four, Pretty unrealistic, but number four is that there is perfect information. In other words, consumers and producers are both fully aware. The consumers know all the prices, the producers know all the prices, and they know that they know. Finally, number five is the most important one, and it's the most unique thing about perfect competition. Number five is the firms are price takers. That means that if you're selling in this market, you have to accept the market price as given. It isn't up to you to determine the price. Now, let's try and explain number five by going through a hypothetical scenario. Let's say that you walk into a room and hypothetically, let's say that that room is a country. I know that's ridiculous, but go with me. And there are 50 people in that particular room all selling lettuce. The lettuce they sell, it looks the same, it tastes the same, it's not packaged, it's identical. And just for argument's sake, let's say that that lettuce costs one pound and they're all selling it for one pound. Bear in mind that when you enter that room, you're perfectly informed because you can easily look at all the prices, there's no effort involved. And they're also perfectly informed because they can see each other's prices, plus they can see that you can see. So let's say all the prices are one pound. And then one of the sellers decides to be a little bit cheeky. They decide to change their price to one pound, one P. What will happen to their sales? Well, why would anyone pay that extra penny when you know that you could get the exact same letters from someone right next to them. Their sales would go down to zero. Therefore, does it make sense for them to increase their price? Not at all. Similarly, if they were to cut their price to 99p, everyone else would do the same thing and everyone would be worse off. So did they ever do that either? No. So the way to remember that they are price takers is simply because of the fact that the good they're selling is identical. It is homogenous and there is perfect information. So that in essence is why they are price takers and why you have to always remember that if they are operating in perfect competition, they have no bearing at all on the price. Look out for that, by the way, because for example, in the January 2013 paper, they had a question about Sally's farm. And there was a key line in that question. And the key line was, she believes that her farm's output will have no bearing on the market price. That is their way of saying she is a price taker. So she must be in perfect competition. Check out the video about the diagrams and how to construct the perfect competition diagram. Hope that was helpful.